Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Angular Tour of Heroes tutorial video. Uh, I think we're on like video 11 now or so. And in the last video, we kind of replicated what it would be like if we were to call an API and get data from a different data source using observables and subscribing to those observables. And today we're not only going to create another service and show the power of dependency injection, how we're able to share an instance of a service amongst different components, but we're also going to create a whole nother component and show the user some things that we're doing uh, at the bottom of the application. You'll see what I mean here in a second. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. We broke 700. Um, I, I would love to see us get to 1000 next. That's my ultimate goal right now. And uh, each day we're getting closer. So I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'll have the tutorial on Angular's website linked down in the description. So if you ever need to copy code or read up on some things in particular, you can do so that way. And so what we're going to do is below the details, whenever a user does something or whenever the heroes are fetched, we are going to have a little message board, I guess, if you will, down here. And it'll say something like the heroes were fetched or you clicked on this particular hero and give the user, you know, kind of like what you would display and the console.log. And this particular component is going to be called the messages component. So if you remember, we have two components already, the hero detail and the heroes. We're going to open a new terminal instance here, uh, CD to the project and what source and app. And here we're going to generate a component. So ng, g, c, and then messages. And that's going to create that component for us. And we'll go ahead and delete the spec TypeScript file because we're not going to use it for testing. So I'll delete that. And we'll open up that TypeScript file for the messages component. I'll copy the selector here and then we'll put a tag in the app component HTML just below the app heroes where our messages are going to go. Now save it. It should recompile. And if we bring it over at the bottom, you can see messages works. And if we click on a hero, it'll move it down below the hero details, which is exactly where we want it to go. So not only, like I said, are we creating a component, we're actually going to create a service for these messages as well. So whenever something's done in a different component, we can add to that message board. Uh, like when someone clicks on a hero, we can add to that particular message board through this message service that way. So we'll do ng g uh, s for service and then message. And we'll go ahead and delete this test file. Okay. So look at the message service. We have injectable provided in root, which is good. There's a few things we need to add. We need to add an array property of messages, which can just serve as our collection of messages to show the user. So we'll say messages of type string array is first going to be an empty array from the start. And we're going to add a few methods that aren't going to return anything, but they're going to, well, the first one is going to take in a string that is a message. So we're going to name that method add, and it's going to take in a string called message. And all it's going to do, it's going to say messages or this dot messages dot push we're going to push in that message that was passed to this method. So it's going to add to the messages array this message. And lastly, there's going to be a clear method. And all it's going to do is this dot messages. It's going to set it back equal to an empty array. And it's essentially just clearing out all of the messages in that string array. OK, so the first thing we want to do is whenever we fetch the heroes from the hero service, we want to display a message that those heroes were fetched in that message board at the bottom. So we're going to inject this particular service into the hero service. And we're going to do that just like we did in the heroes component. It's going to be a private variable called message service. And it's going to be of type message service. And then it'll go ahead and import it up here for us. And now once it fetches the heroes, we can say this dot message service dot add, and we can write some kind of message here. We can say the hero service 
fetched the heroes or something like that. You can be creative if you want. Okay, so that's all we're going to do in this hero service. And now we actually need to show it in the HTML. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna bind it to some to something in the TypeScript file, in the message component TypeScript file. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to inject that same instance also into this TypeScript file. And that's actually gonna be a public because we're going to reference this instance in the message component HTML. So same thing, message service. And it's gonna be of type message service. So what's really cool and why dependency injection can be really useful is because these aren't separate instances of the message service. These are the same instance. So that's how they're able to share this messages string array, which is really neat. So now we have to display those messages in the message component HTML. And the tutorial has this HTML already for us. So I'm just going to go here and copy the HTML. We can talk about what it's doing real quick. So the first thing it does is if it's going to display anything here, it's going to check, are there any messages in that messages array? And the way it does that is by the length property of messages. So if there are any, then this will be true. Then we're just going to have a basic H2 that says messages, a button, that's going to say clear. So if the user wants, you know, after the messages pile up, they can hit this button and clear them all out. And then at the end, it's just going to use this ng4 directive to list out all of the single messages in that message array. And there's also some CSS that I'm going to copy down at the bottom in the final code review to make that button and the messages look a little bit better. So I'm just going to go to this messages component CSS down here, copy everything and then go to the message component CSS in our project and just paste all of that and make sure to save both that and the HTML. And now <clears throat> if I bring over the application right off the bat, since it refreshed and it fetched the heroes, we get that message that says hero service fetch the heroes. If we hit clear, it's going to run that clear method and disable or delete all of the messages in that array. So one more thing we're going to do is add a message whenever a user clicks on a hero. And we're going to say you clicked on this hero with ID and name. And we're going to do that in the heroes component TypeScript. And we're going to do that in the on selected click event method that we created. So the first thing we have to do is like we did before and the other two inject that same instance into this TypeScript file class as well. So message service of type message service. And then on the on selected, we can just do message service dot add. And here I'm going to do a little JavaScript string interpolation, and I'm going to use the button above the, the tab. I don't know what this is actually called, but this is how you can do string interpolation. And we can say something like you selected hero with uh, ID of, and then the dollar sign and the open and close curly brace to do the string interpolation and then hero dot ID because that is the one that they clicked to fire off this event. And then we can say and name and same thing. It's going to be hero dot uh, name. And we also, um, like we did before, put it in the console as well. So we'll hit save and now we'll bring over the application. I will go ahead and keep this. And every time I click a hero, you can see it adds to the messages about that hero. And I think the main takeaway about all of this is that I mentioned this before, these are all using the same instance of that message service. They're not creating each individual one by scratch, it's being injected, and that's how they're all able to share all of this uh, methods and data, which is really cool. 
So I think that'll be the uh, end. Actually, I think that's the end of part four of this. I think we, I think we finished everything. Yeah, looks like it. So in the next section, part five, looks like we're going to be adding a couple tabs at the top and maybe some navigation. So stay tuned for that and hope to see you then. Take care.